so we got back so they decided not to use their cheap handyman so we're gonna go ahead and replace this stuff so we got our two motors we got our fan and we do have a CLO relay in the truck just in case but it might be fine we'll we'll find out once we get this all fixed up so anyway uh, here we go we got the power kill we need to take this off so we can disconnect the wires because we have to reuse these wires unfortunately okay so we got this opened up so we have a ton of wires here even though we only got three coming out of here um, so what we're going to do here is we want to go ahead and mark our wires because uh, this is a three-phase motor so we don't want to make it spin the wrong way or blow up we got our wrench here we're going to loosen these up so we can get the motor out it's a 9 16th bolt so i'm going to use my socket wrench here and we're going to hold the back with the wrench and there's two of them there's one on each side so we only need to get them loose so we can get that motor out. That should be more enough. And then we'll just loosen up the other side too. Okay, and then we're gonna loosen up the other side too. So we got our motors mounted. Now we need to put our fan blades on. So from here to here, that's three and three quarters, uh, which matches the old unit. Um, so we want about a half inch sticking out once we put our fan blade on. So we're gonna put our fan blade on. Okay, and we want about a half inch sticking out, okay? So I'm gonna mark it with a marker here. Okay, and then we're gonna mark the other one too. So, I got the key here inside there. And we're gonna go ahead and slide into the slot. Try not to drop it. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. We'll find our mark. So our mark's right about there. And then we're gonna go ahead and crank down the set screw. Okay, cool. It's been for good measure. So we're gonna use our old motor as reference for wiring, because um, they're exact same motors. So, yeah. All right, so this one right here is T1 and T7. These are gonna go to our blue wire. All right, T9 and T7, it's gonna go to our black wire. All right, so T5 and P5, we're gonna wire nut these together. Uh, so we got all of our power wires, so these are going to be setting our speeds and our rotation and all that. And then we're going to go ahead and check these other ones too, put wire nuts on them, and then we'll do the other motor. Alright, so we got both motors all wired up, so we're going to crank her on and see what happens, so fingers crossed. Okay, we're going to flip the switch. I do have the compressor breaker off. I do believe the fans will run, even if that's off. Spinning the correct direction, looks like. So it looks like they're spinning the wrong way, but they're actually going the correct way. I can feel the air being sucked in. So, so far, so good. We're going to go ahead and clean up 
and then we're gonna try to call for cool and see what happens. Okay, so we got everything powered on. We're checking C to X. We shouldn't be getting voltage. We are, so that means that our CLO has been tripped again. So the fact that it's immediate kind of makes me wonder if maybe one of the pressure switches is our tripped. So we're gonna check that. Okay, so our high pressure has continuity. So. Okay, so we have our low pressure switch. Um, as you can see, I got an open line. So it looks like we have a low charge. So we're gonna grab some gauges and see what kind of refrigerant we got going on in there or what kind of pressure. Okay, so we got a gauge hooked up to that and we have no pressure. So it's completely flat, great. So now we're gonna go ahead and check the second circuit, see if that one's flat too. Hopefully it's not. But that's why our CLO is locking out the compressor. Okay, so we got our gauge hooked up to this one. We have 152 PSI. Um, this is R22. So vapor saturation is 83, it's about 70. So yeah, I would say this has a good charge on it. At least we know it has a charge. So yeah, so we can at least run our second stage, so we'll probably jump out, uh, jump Y1 to Y2 until we can get this other one fixed. Okay, so uh, compressor two is running and the system is cooling. Uh, so basically uh, it's only at half of its capacity. But uh, I talked to the client, they told me not to look for the leak and that they just want to run it like this because they already have plans on replacing this guy uh, in the fall. So the only reason they did the fans was just to buy time. So at least it's sort of cooling. Um, so anyway, uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.